Red Olympic Village where there are buildings up here. It's so interesting to you. Welcome once again on Richard's Adventures. Today is cinema review. Also, I've got something to show you. Things have been happening in the UK with this crazy weather. We've got some tropical creatures, over, insects coming over it, especially the house fly. Well, not the house fly, I can't find the name of it. Hard to check anyway. There's some tropical creatures, nasty ones that poisonous ones. But yeah, off to the station. Carriage 91201. We're in Stratford. So we're going to go to the cinema now, do a few trains for on the way home, and also I'm going to show you some videos. Um, you can put them up. What's been happening in East London? Because there was a fire. We had Wasted Flats. There's been a the fire. The train now approaching platform yeah. 10 does not stop here. Oh, there's a fast train, which Please might have filmed that. I should film this train might go through. It's a passing through train. I don't know where it's going. Let's read the front. It's a 321-337. The Great Easter. Great. The Great Anglin train. I'll switch the camera around for you. This customer information for customers on platform. Went to the cinema last, this wasn't here, it's like all roadworks. They're doing over here, they're building over there, digging up over there, over there. I hate to think what they're doing. Anyway, off to the cinema. Cinema, it's not even open yet. First time. Oh well. First film is at 12.30, which is Incredibles 2, it's the one we're watching. It's got on here, I should read it right. Ocean's 8, I've seen that already. And Jurassic World, I've seen that. Skyscraper, I'm not really into really. And the Beatles Yellow Submarine, which is interesting. Beatles Yellow Submarine, it's something different to see. But today, it's Incredibles 2. Before doing the inside before the cinema opens, I think it's inside a retro <coughs> kind of signs, as you can see just there, how to do it. My film is just there. It's pretty cool. That's what I usually do it in the window when it gets really busy. Other than that, I go down the bottom, show about the reflection. But you have a chit chat inside, I'll tell you about it. Try and find the poster as well. But this film's quite good, apparently. It'll be interesting to watch. Interesting facts about the cinema. You usually get a star rating of food quality everywhere you go. Maximum bin number five. This cinema is a number four star rating for food. Which is well, quite good. This class is good, not excellent, just good. Yeah, unusual for a cinema, so that. But yeah, can't wait to go inside. It's gonna be, don't know how packed it's gonna be. No one here at the moment, since it's not open yet. I think it was at 12. It's usually half an hour before the film. I can't wait to see the film. I've seen the trailer. The trailer looks freaking awesome. Quite funny as well. But the story, I wonder what the story's about. That'd be interesting to see itself. Behind me, as you can see, in black, that's the picture house. They're doing it up apparently. I what they're doing, they're doing quite a lot up. Don't forget it's an old building. I'll see you inside, guys. That's the film we're going to see. It's an interesting poster. My screen's down there. Just make a pit stop, then go down there. Sort myself out. Making our way to see Incredibles 2. It's very quiet in there, isn't Quite cool. I bought a top for me. I know it's like hot outside. It's 30 degrees outside. But I like to keep cool. I can't remember the seat I had last time. I need to check when the middle is this time. 
the projector. Just checking it where it is. It projects the film. It's hard to tell. It's about there. It's about there. It's built just a bit different. It's hidden. Literally hidden. Anyway, I was seven and eight, nine last time. Let's move one up a bit. Let's make a different seat for a change. I was in last time. Let's this time let's go for ten. Let's go for number ten. These are the flexible seats. You can see they're quite dirty though. Need a bit of a clean. Let's just get a clean one. Got all bashed up. Yeah, it's all worn and torn. Suppose a cheap ticket, what can you do? That's our screen. Let's sit down. Now. Let's just see what I've got for lunch. Right, I'm taking this somewhere. I don't want to make a lot of noise in the cinema. So I'll need to something nice and quiet. Here's one. Somewhere. Let me sort it out. Cinema review time. Seen the film Incredibles 2. Things to point out about the film, which were interested me, which was unusual. A hint of jazz in the music, which is interesting. It's all by, done by Lucas Films. Well, Lucas Silva is a production company anyway. It's the sound of things, it is Disney, and it is Pixar. And get this, animation. You know the Disney castle you see at the beginning of the films, Tron had the special effects, a Disney car, a digital one. This one had it like, Aminated. That was pretty awesome. A team more further up. What do I feel anyway? Just getting it, you know, the sheer size of it anyway. That is pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Starts the beginning, get the bridge going across. Get all the all way along. And the view I'm taking is from the Olympic Park with the stadium in the back. I'll tell you about that, but the cinema further up. Find a quiet spot to tell you about the cinema. It's quite busy today because of half term. And we'll, we'll score kids break up money today. Anyway, some do end of this week anyway. Tomorrow. So proper start term starts. Half term starts next week. Should be about six weeks I think. Anyway, to tell you about the film. It was great. The film was good. I give you that. The film was brilliant. And uh you nice to see the Incredibles again in action. The baby. Oh, oh, oh. that's pretty cool though. It's funny as well. It's got comedy in it, so not 100% full on laughter, but here and there, some serious, some emotional. But it's good the way they put it together. It's an interesting plot to the story, the way they twisted everything, and it is a sensible ending. Sometimes I never see sensible endings in certain films, but this one was a good ending. How it ended was lovely. It's worth watching. Should you watch it through the credits? Yeah. There's nothing special at the end except Pixar light. But interesting to tell you, before you watch the film, before the film actually comes on, they show you an animated clip. Or it's like a Chinese animated clip. And um, there's like Pixar, do they do like the mini films before the actual main film? Which I did, they've actually done one. It's a Chinese one. And it's quite an interesting one. You should see it. It's the way they put it together. It's pretty cool. Something else to tell you. Next time I go to Picture House, I'll try a different Picture House cinema. It won't be Stratford this time, it won't be the location. It'll be somewhere different, but it's still be Picture House. Thinking about Hackney this time, because I showed you Hackney Marshes, I thought, let me show you the cinema, because they've got that one there as well. Trying different towns around London, some around Essex, even the cheap cinema at Romford, which is £4. To see how everything plays out, but that one's really busy. I do it on the quiet day, I do it after half term because it's going to be really packed. But yeah, and something to show you. At the Olympic Village where there are buildings up here, it's so interesting to tell you. 
Um, the car park is right behind me. Westfield's on the other side now. Literally on that side. But yeah, and over there is the Docklands International. And just there to your left is Stratford International, where the trains go to France. And also you can get to the seaside resort. What it's like in these buildings. How about that? Living up there, balcony. I think it's pretty impressive. Good design, I have to give you that. Yesterday, I watched a film as well. I watched uh, um, Stone Age Man. That was a good film. Good rental, worth it. It's really funny. I recommend you see that and all. Into Stratford we go. Here's one of the buses that go here, 308. But something interesting to tell you, from the Stratford International, the Stratford International Doctors, they've got this thing across here. And you're thinking, what's that doing there? It's only there in case it rains so you don't get wet from one station to the next station. Which is a pretty clever idea, but if the wind's blowing the wrong way, it's a bit unlucky, isn't it? Facts about Stratford International, here's the bridge, you can see it goes over, keeps people dry into the city. That's something else. My E20 is actually an official hashtag when you're E20, so I bet you've definitely been putting that in. This train at Stratford International takes you to St Pancras in four minutes. It leads you straight outside the U uh, YouTube International. So yes, you can go and see it. The YouTube store at St Pancras is to your left. You'll see it on the window. So when you get to the station, you go downstairs, it's outside. But they don't open Sundays. Must remember that. They do not open Sundays. But it's worth checking the YouTube store down there. We're here at Hainault. Here's Hainault Gapo. As you can see at the end. Just about there. And the day's not finished. There's a few things I want to show you. Here's the fire. Uh, once the flats fires, the smoke going into the sky. Certain videos have been banned from the internet because, uh, I don't know why. It's just strange. There's a the smoke, you see it going into the sky. So, about the out uh, auto focus. Let's try and get the fire for you. Best I can do, I'll just a picture at the moment, I can't really actually give you a video but just to give you a work out what it's like, the forest, fire, or once it flats, the grass caught a light, just to give you an idea. Back home now, you can see I'm quite hot, or red, it's really hot out there today. By the way, there's this some new YouTubers that I always watch, watch on the regular, and I recommend you check them out if you know, to your interest. I watch the Shaytards. Um, they are basically um, a family in America. They go different places and days out and all that. Because I like that sort of thing. I like the adventure and that kind of thing. And I also watch Splome of Josh. He does a lot of abandoned places. That's very interesting. He does it. He's in the UK at the moment, which is interesting. He's an American guy, but in the UK. And I also watch Indigo Traveller. Uh, that guy goes uh, different places across the world, like days out. That makes him more interesting. He's even done a North Korea special, which is interesting. And also, I watch Ali Law, because he's crazy stunts. I know he's breaking the law, but he has some cool stunts as well. Yeah, and Adam DeWoo is another one I watch as well. He's an American, he travels in the car, pit stops, goes places. He goes to really cool places, actually. Until next time. I'll see you guys Saturday. Oh. <coughs> I'm eating an American cheesecake. It's Waitrose version. Don't know what the recipe is, but it's great. I've tasted some American cheesecakes in my life, but this one's top. The difference between England cheesecake, well, the UK cheesecake, and American cheesecake. Here's the difference. UK is like biscuit, make your cheesecake as normal, and leave it, like cheese and... If it's cheese, yeah, normally cheese and cream or milk, I can't remember what the ingredients were. And he says it is, the Americans, they bake theirs, they do it the same way as we do, but they bake theirs. That's the only difference. But Saturday, got an interesting video for you. Guarantee it. Good day out.